What is going on guys? How's everybody doing? So I thought we'd change up the pace a little bit and I'd share something that I've been waiting a very long time for for my Red Cat Camara. This is my fifth scale Red Cat. It is pretty much basically stock except for the paint and I changed out the gearing a little bit and one of the servos other than that it is pretty much stock but uh, for those that know these are pretty common um, they only came in one color you can't really change too much about them there's upgrades for them but there's not a huge aftermarket supply like there is low C or how there was for HPI and all that so I kind of had to dig a little deep and I got something special that I got in the box over there. So I'm gonna put you guys up on the stand. I was nosy and I already opened it, so. But I'm still gonna share it with you guys. All right, so I'm not gonna run this or anything. I'm probably just gonna put it together and start it up, see how it sounds, cause we just got a bunch of snow and my yard's a mess right now. So, but. I've been waiting about six months for this. It is a custom pipe from Jet Pro and Dino over there. Some amazing work. I mean, the welds on this thing is pretty sweet. It is a custom fit for the Red Cat Camaro. Uh, he is pretty much the only person that I found that makes any exhaust or any kind of pipes for it. So I was pretty excited to be able to get it. So I'm going to go about fitting it on there. That way I can put my gas tank back in because I still got the gas tank out and a couple of the plastics off from when I painted it. Because I painted it and then I ordered the exhaust and then it was on a waiting game because of COVID. So I ended up waiting for quite a while. So now I'm really excited to get it together. And of course we're right in the middle of winter. All right, I couldn't wait. I had to at least see what it looked like and how it's gonna fit on there. Well, obviously when it's actually mounted, it'll fit. But yeah, you can kind of see how it's gonna fit. It gives you all the nice bushings for everything. Um, get it out of there now. Pretty much just mount it right through a hole right here, which I had a flag sticking out of there, so I gotta get the stupid thing out of there. But redrill the hole out and mount it up to the header, and it's pretty much mounted. It comes with all the hardware to mount it and everything. Some nice bushings for all the vibration. All right, guys, so I'm going to get that in there, and we're going to see if we can hear this thing uh, purr. All right, check it out. We got it all mounted up in there. All tightened down. So we're going to bring it outside and see if we can get it started and see what it sounds like, at least. Um, I don't have any electronics in it really right now, because like I said before, uh, I got this exhaust, I was repainting it and going through the whole thing, so everything's all clean and there's no electronics in it. But I'm at least going to start it because I want to hear it. Alright, see if we can breathe some life into this.
Man, does that sound good. I can't hear a damn thing now. Man, that sounds awesome. Man, after hearing that, I really want winter to be over now. But I might take it out maybe on a little bit nicer of a day when it's not raining and snowing out and my yard's not all slush. But uh, that's just going to about do it for uh, today's video. I just wanted to get that thing in there and see what it sounded like. I figured I'd bring you guys along. But definitely see some more videos of this. Hopefully coming soon. Have a good day, everybody.